teaching Michaela and Shayna online. And today we are at the Honda Center waiting to see the amazing Stars on Ice show. And here are some of the skaters. They're practicing right now for the big show. And today we have the pleasure of speaking with uh, John Kerr, Sinead Kerr, and Kurt Browning. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you guys. guys. You guys don't do this you know, very often, do you? You're like, snap, crackle, pop, you're right on. <laughs> Thank you. How did you get started in figure skating? Well, I had to give up on hockey. Um, I forgot to grow for about three summers. <laughs> and um, so there was something about my size that just made me think that I might be a better figure skater than a hockey player. <laughs> Um, I actually started off in roller skating and uh, I turned to ice and it felt a little bit more graceful so uh, I stuck to the ice skating. Um, I started because my sister started skating so they had to give me something to do so she's all to blame for me doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys do pair skating together or? Yes, you're going to see it in the show today. So we actually do ice dancing but it's pretty much the same thing. Cool. You get to dance. I, I get a chance to lift him as well so you got to oh, watch you do. for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to see that. <laughs> Muscle. The sweater is big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take to make a great skater like yourself? Uh, you better ask Kurt that one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a great skater, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, now, what is it? You know what? Skating is a very unusual sport in that there's. Uh, it's a really nice blend of athleticism, um, musicality, and showmanship. So if you want to act or sing, or and those things don't really work out for you, this is the one sport that has that option of, of being able to get out there and, and strut your stuff and show off. And so, and even bald guys can look good out there. So <laughs> yeah, I can attest to Fred, that. Fred still showed the way. This Fred, Fred yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> How do you make the audience cheer? Oh, well, oh usually gosh. with us, it's when I lift him, that's the yeah, main cheer we Yeah, it's always one of those things when, the, when you see the girl uh, lifting the guy, then that can be pretty impressive. I think as well, if you look like you're really enjoying your skating out there and that you're really having fun, I think the audience then reacts to that and they then start having fun too, and that's how you get your cheers. Or backflips. Oh, yeah, uh, yes, backflips. I used to do backflip um, a long, long time ago, but now there's a young lad in the cast. His name is Ryan Bradley. He's very tall, and very dashing, and very flipping. He flips all the time. You'll enjoy that. Well, check that out. Yeah. And what is your routine for practice? Oh, wow. I'll tell you, when I was competing um, and trying to be a world champion and all that st that stuff, it was that was my job. I went to the rink and I, I skated all day. We did 40 or 50 hours a week of skating. Now, um, I'm a father of two, and so being a dad is more important than skating, but I do train almost every day. Um, but only maybe an hour, an hour and a half, so I have more time to be with my family. And, uh, and you can show it, you can see it on my skating. Are, are, your, kids, are your kids skating? My, my two sons um, skate recreationally, no, not, not too seriously. Kind of like, right? like their dad. It's a little bit of an act. Yeah, he acts up. Uh, yeah. It's a bit different. <laughs> How old are your children? Uh, nine and five. Hi, guys. Oh. Go to bed. <laughs> What is your approach to nutrition and do you tweak your diet before a competition? Um, yeah, I mean I think the big thing is uh, everything in moderation, you know, like as long as you're getting all your, your vitamins and, and your minerals in there, then you're pretty much going to be good. Not too many fizzy drinks or fatty foods, because if you want to do the stuff that we do, you got to be in tip-top shape. Yeah, I mean, like John said, I mean, we eat kind of, you can eat everything in moderation, but your body feels it if you eat the wrong, the wrong thing. Like, if I ate too many hamburgers, he would definitely feel it, and I would feel sluggish as well. So, um, you, you learn as an athlete to, <laughs> too many burgers. Too many burgers. You learn as an athlete to treat your body like your tool. It's what you work with, so it needs to be run correctly. Ice cream and popcorn three times a day, and I like a little coconut for vegetables <laughs> on my ice cream. Oh yes, that's very, very healthy. Perfect. Had a nice long career on that. No teeth. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about why you did the Singing in the Rain program. Well, um, uh, Singing in the Rain is uh, the name of a movie that Gene Kelly uh, performed in uh, quite a long time ago and uh, it's a very special movie to me and a long long time ago somebody asked me what I would like to do in my TV special and I said I'd love to do singing in the rain so that was 20 years ago and now I'm finally doing it live so even though I performed it on television 20 years ago it's very special to me to finally get to do it live so um, I'm Gene on ice I hope and I, I'm very excited about it and it actually rains out there. Yeah, you're going to see actual rain out there. Oh, wow. Oh, I gave it away. It's an exclusive. <laughs> Fancy. It's a secret. It's a secret. What is your favorite move? 
My favorite move. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. Wait, I like a move. move. Oh, okay. um, I like a hydroblading. You know when you get really close to the ice and you're, you basically your hair is getting a little bit of snow on it, it and you just and you know like it's 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 a lot of fun. So you'll see that in the show today. Awesome. <laughs> I like being lifted up. <laughs> Are you sure you don't like to lift him up? Yeah, secretly that's my favourite move. I didn't oh, want to say yeah. it three times. So. <laughs> come up with something new. Oh, favourite move? Uh, bow, bow, bowing. Love bowing. Yep. Because the wow. end of the program. Yep. The applause. <laughs> bow. You want to see that? Fake <laughs> modesty. <laughs> Learned everything from Scott Hamilton. Oh. Google that guy. He's good. <laughs> and what led you to coming to Stars on Ice and being a part of the cast? Gosh, you know what? It, it, Star, Stars on Ice is one of those places where you can be a world champion, um, but because you're with such a great cast and such good choreographers, and you get to perform in front of people all the time, it makes you even better. So you can win a world title, but to get invited to Stars on Ice. So we would love to have just said to Stars on Ice, can we come? But you have to be invited. So it's an honor to be here, and um, and this is actually my last time doing Stars on Ice in the U.S. Oh. We're all so very sad about I'll that. I'll still do it up in Canada, but, um, but I've been 20 years doing this, so uh, this is a big emotional night. So, bye everybody. Bye. Well, thank you so much for your time today, and we can't wait to see you skate. Oh, thank oh, you. You're very yeah. welcome. Thank you. Wow. And you guys are, uh, I think, a big inspiration to you kids out there, and you see what hard work and focus do. They make it look easy, but they they do their homework, and you guys are, you know, going to go far. Good luck. Oh, thank, you. Well, good luck. Good luck. thank you. Thank you. Bye. Online. And, <laughs> and today, 